Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to create a process interaction using a slider in Storyline 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my slider. I'm going to choose this particular slider style. You'll see why in a little while. I'm going to make the thumb a little bit larger as well. Uh, and then I'll also align it into the middle of my slide. I'm only going to do four steps in my slider, so I'm going to bring the end count down to four. In terms of the formatting, I'm just going to make the fill and the track color a bit lighter, so it just sort of sits on the slide, like so. Then I'm going to create some layers that as you drag the, the thumb across the track, you'll see some layers. So I'll create my first new layer and call it Step 1. And on this layer, I'm going to insert a rectangle at the top for my title, which I'm going to call the Step 1 title. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to format out the shape and give it this light blue color. I'll also change the text back to a black so it stands out a bit better. And I will also on this layer insert another text box in which I'll put some random text. Now being a layer you can have a combination of text, uh, pictures, videos, whatever you like. And I'll also align this one horizontally so I get, the, get it nicely centered. Now in this particular interaction because each of the layers are going to <clears throat> have a similar layout I just like to set up one layer and then I'm going to duplicate the layer and then I just change out elements as I need to. So this will be the step 2 layer. I'll call this heading step 2 and then to format out this heading I'm going to go with just the next shade of the color. Then I'll duplicate again, step three, and change the heading to step three, format out the color to the next color. And then finally, my last step four. And finally, change the heading here, and also the fill and outline color. Now, because this is a darker color, I will make my text white. So there I have my four layers. Then I'm going to come back to my base and set up some triggers to make those layers show. So I'll create my tr new trigger that will be show layer, step one, when the slider moves, when the slider is in the one position. Now to save me some time, I'm actually going to just copy and paste to this trigger and then change the information here in the blue underlined sections. Copy and paste again, step three when it's in the three position, and finally step four when it's in the four position. Now what I'd also like to do is have the the thumb change color to match the color that I've used on each of my layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some new states for my slider. So I'm going to edit out the state. I'm going to get rid of the hover state because I don't really need it. And I will create my first state that I'm just going to call one. And I will come up to the format tab and fill and outline my thumb. Then I'll create another a new state, call it the two with thumb and fill for my next color. Another one called three, thumb and fill my next color. And finally, my fourth with thumb and fill the corresponding color. Then I just need some triggers to make each of these show. So I can say done editing states. And my trigger is going to be change the state of my slider to the one state when the slider moves and when it's equal to one. And again, I'm going to, when I say okay to that, I'm just gonna copy and paste. So change the state of my slider to two, to two when it's in the two position, paste, to three when it's in the three position, and finally four when it's in the four position. Now I also need to factor in that if I come back to the beginning, again, I need to change my slider back to normal. So I'll need to change the state of my slider to the normal state when the slider moves and the slider is equal to zero. 
and I also want to create one more that's going to hide a layer, my step one layer, when the slider moves, when the slider is equal to zero. Now if we do a quick preview out, we can check this to be working. So we should see the different layers and the thumb should also change colour to match the particular layer that we're on. And there you have it, creating a simple process interaction using a slider in Storyline 2.